Hey everyone, what's up? It's Robbie here with Upworld Games, and we're talking about a brand new exciting Borderlands 3 leak. Of course, again, take these leaks with a grain of salt, but what we do know officially is Borderlands 3 is happening. It's been in development forever. You know, even recently, uh, Gearbox CEO Randy Pitchford has, you know, teased that, then joked about adding a sentient flamethrower to the game courtesy of Elon Musk. So that's pretty funny. But yeah, again, it is officially happening. You're seeing a tech demo of Borderlands 3 right now. Uh, that was actually showcased. This is Borderlands 2 right here. But what you did previously see is a tech demo of Borderlands 3, which was showcased at GDC uh, last year. So let's talk about this leak Let's go into more details about when we could expect to see that gameplay reveal. So uh, this image right here was leaked out on Reddit by a user named ShineRise1. And he shows off this image and, he, and in the image it says the reveal will be happening on June 10th. But you know what in the world is happening on June 10th? Of course, June 12th through the 14th is going to be E3. Uh, where we're going to be getting a ton of reveals. But yeah, on June 10th, we're going to be getting the Microsoft Conference and Bethesda's Conference. So it could likely be that we could be seeing Borderlands 3 on the Microsoft stage. How cool would that mean? Now, of course, that would indicate that there would be some sort of perhaps uh, timed exclusivity deal for the DLC or something like that. Uh, you know, this rumor and this leak also indicates we will be getting a season pass for Borderlands 3 with multiple expansions. I remember the expansions for Borderlands 2 were insanely successful. So, kind of makes sense they would go after, you know, a DLC schedule and a DLC plan. It's going to be interesting if they actually do a season pass, though, or not. Now, let's go into that leak a little bit more from Shine Rise 1. So, he posted that image, and then he posted, you know, a video that has been since removed. But this is what they go on to say about this. Of course, we got the uh, reveal date of June 10th. Uh, but according to the post, developer Gearbox has Borderlands 3 slated for a September 28, 2018 release, and it will launch on the PC, PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch, and Xbox One. And I know a lot of you Switch fans would love to play Borderlands uh, 3 on the Nintendo Switch. I mean, Nintendo Switch, we recently got that one over here, and I love that platform. So I see that they could do a lot of creative things uh, with that for sure. And uh, we'll see if uh, the engine can actually translate well on the Nintendo Switch or not. But it is actually running some really good looking games look at the zelda game the open world zelda game so there's a lot of potential there for sure but yeah let's talk a little bit more about those gameplay features so this is interesting the post goes on to describe the uh, the game as being the darkest game in the saga and uh that is when this uh, user linked to a video that was removed and it showed off borderlands excu planets uh so Darkest game, I don't think it's going to be as dark as uh, they kind of are advertising. You know, we cover Star Wars a lot over on our other channel. And uh, they keep teasing, you know, oh man, this film is going to be so dark. You're going to be shocked. And it's never really that dark. I mean, maybe they'll have dark elements in it. But I guarantee you the humor will be uh, front and center. It's a Borderlands game. I think they absolutely have to have the humor front and center no matter what. Now also... Uh, the leak mentions that the game will begin as a linear experience. I would expect that to be the tutorial phase of the game, of course. But players will eventually obtain a ship and travel to different planets in the game's open world. Uh, they go on to state that you'll go to a main mission, of course. Then uh, secondary missions will open up. And then you'll be able to upgrade and personalize your ship. Sh ship. So ship uh, customization will be a big part of the game and then you will be capturing signals from space discovering uh, destroyed ships along the way exploring ancient ruins and a lot of other things uh, it makes a lot of sense that we would be going to different planets as well because of the ending of borderlands 2 you may remember that ending when they showed off that there were multiple vaults 
uh, around the universe on different planets. So it seems like this could be a really good follow-up to the Borderlands 2 ending, so that makes a lot of sense. Now, Battle Royale mode is really hot right now, and maybe some of you are wondering if we would get Battle Royale or not. Uh, I'm not wondering that at all, because I don't think it would, you know, make sense for uh, Borderlands 3. Uh, but the poster did go on to say that there is no mention of a Battle Royale mode, which, come on now, not every game needs a ba Battle Royale mode. We just need a good co-op experience like we got with Borderlands 2. Would you guys like to see, by the way, some sort of PvP experience? Please let me know for sure. Now, also, what do we know officially about, uh, you know, Borderlands 3? We do know officially that it is happening. Uh, so, uh, there's some articles I have linked in the description below. You can check those out. But uh, this one goes on to say that uh, we uh, did get a recent press release from Borderlands publisher 2K Games, uh, which, of course, is Take-Two Interactive. Now, following the delay of Red Dead Redemption 2, the company seems to be confident for a successful 2019 fiscal year, thanks not only, of course, to Red Dead 2, but also the launch of what was described as a highly anticipated new title from one of 2K's biggest franchises. And, of course, a lot of people thought immediately of, you know, Borderlands 3. It's the biggest and most likely candidate at this point. It's been, like, over six years since uh, the last Borderlands uh, game. And, you know, that's saying something. You know, Randy Pitchford uh, went on to say that he did not want to pump out a ton of Borderlands games. He could have easily done that. You know, he did release the pre-sequel, but... Borderlands 3, he didn't want it to be a pre-sequel. He wanted it to be an entirely new experience, something that would put them back on the radar, put Gearbox back on that map, and hopefully they actually do this one right because it sounds like they've been taking their time. They know that this game is their baby, uh, and it really is. You know, when you think of Gearbox Studios, you immediately think of uh, Borderlands, of course. Now, also, uh, the press release went on to say that uh, they have been working on a new Borderlands title for over two years now, with it recently having been revealed that 90% of the studio staff has been allocated to working on the sequel. Uh, so they're really grinding away over there at Gearbox, really wanting to get this game out. And there were also some interesting comments from Randy Pitchford in the past about him comparing uh, the release of uh, this Borderlands, uh, in comparison to what GTA 3 did when uh, it went to GTA 4 in that big of a groundbreaking jump, he wants it to be that groundbreaking. So you may remember GTA 3 and then, boom, GTA 4 was absolutely massive. I consider the jump from GTA 4 to GTA 5 to be also fairly big, especially in terms of the actual online technology used uh, for GTA 5. Uh, so yeah, it's looking really good for Borderlands 3 so far. I'm really excited for it. You know, uh, that's one thing that Gearbox has done right is the Borderlands franchise. And I know a lot of you guys are super hyped for it. And you know, when you consider loot gun games, you know, like Destiny and Destiny 2, you know, Destiny 2 really dropped the ball in terms of uh, how they delivered uh, with that one, with all the microtransactions and a lot of the stuff that went on with that one. And I think a lot of us want a game that doesn't have that in it. And there hasn't been really major rumors or indications that we will be getting tons of microtransactions with Borderlands 3. Hopefully Take-Two and Gearbox have been really in tuned to what happened with games like Battlefront 2. And then also, uh, you know, other games like Destiny uh, 2. So they really do need to be mindful of that. And I think they will be. You know, sounds like they're going to go after a season pass structure perhaps. Uh, like indicated in this leak. Let me know what you guys would want. Would you want uh, DLC drops to be free and then, you know, cosmetics and stuff like that to be purchasable? Like almost like what Fortnite is doing. How would you want the DLC to be handled for Borderlands 3? Leave a comment below. But I'm extremely curious about traveling to multiple planets. That would open up a lot of uh, opportunity for them to really offer tons of different loot dependent on the planet you're on. And really get unique with the story and narrative, meet new characters and stuff like that. You know, one game that is doing that is Beyond Good and Evil 2. You may have heard of that one. It's probably Ubisoft's biggest 
open world, well, in this case, open galaxy games ever created. You know, it's kind of like No Man's Sky on steroids. Uh, so a lot of these games are willing to really uh, take it beyond the open world stuff and go clear into open universe. So I see that, you know, 2019, 2018, 2019, uh, really tapping into, you know, going beyond just open world. It's going to be about these open universes. So a lot of these games are really tapping into that. And you've got to consider also Cyberpunk 2077 is going to be absolutely massive as well. So more futuristic styled open world games are becoming uh, more and more of the norm. And then we've got a rumored open world Star Wars game. So a lot to look forward to. But guys, yeah. Remember with this one, mark that on your calendar, please. It is going to be June 10th. It's going to be supposedly the re reveal of Borderlands 3. So keep that one in mind. Supposedly this artwork here is also showing off the protagonist. We'll see a lot of people are like, that's ripped from Dark Souls. We'll find out. It kind of looks like a Dark Souls askew type character for sure. I remember those characters in uh, that type of mask. We'll see. Remember, take it with a grain of salt. But remember, officially Borderlands 3 is happening. I would not be surprised if we didn't get a gameplay reveal, a trailer, something around E3, the Microsoft conference. It's going to be interesting to see if Microsoft does actually nail down exclusivity rights to something. DLC, we'll find out. But guys, again, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned here to Open World Games for more Borderlands 3 and open world gaming goodness. Well, actually, open world open galaxy goodness but guys thanks so much for watching i will see you guys next time